Solve the system of nonlinear equations using a graphing tool. What is the x coordinate of the point of intersection? So when it says to solve using a graphing tool, you should think of things like a graphing calculator or an online resource. Uh, anything that you can use so you don't have to graph the system by hand. Especially this system is nonlinear equations and we don't know how to graph them by hand at all at this point. So the first tool I'll show you is the graphing calculator like the one shown here. This is a TI-84 plus silver edition. So we're going to type both equations into the calculator by going to the, well turning it on, and then we will press the y equals button. So these two equations have exponents. So we're going to have to use what's called the caret button. It looks like this little up arrow right under the clear button. So x to the third will be x caret 3 minus x caret 2 plus 5x minus 5. I'll then scroll down to the second equation to type in the second equation. So x squared will be x caret 2 minus 6x plus 17. Now that both equations are typed in the calculator, I can push graph to see what the system will look like. So I can see my system here, and the point of intersection is all the way up here. So it's very hard to tell what that point is, so I need the calculator to tell me for sure. So I'm going to hit second trace to bring me to the calculate menu. And if you see five says intersect, so you can scroll down to five and hit enter or just hit the five number. Now first curve, you want to make sure your cursor is on the, line, the first function or first equation. So which it is, so you can hit enter. Then you want to make sure your cursor is on the second equation, which we can't see it, which me must mean it's somewhere up there on the second cur uh, equation. Hit enter. And guess we want to make sure we are on the intersection. So right now it's guessing at 0, 017, so I need to move it down to be right about where I think they're going to intersect there. And if I hit enter, it tells me on the screen that intersection is x equals 2 and y equals 9. So as a solution, that ordered pair would be 2 comma 9. And the x coordinate would be d2. Now, what if you didn't have a graphing calculator at home? What if you only had the web or the online tool as a resource? Well, you can use the internet and go to desmos.com or desmos.com slash calculator to bring you to this website. Now here we can do almost the same thing. We're going to type in our equations but into these two boxes. So the first box, now we have to include the y equals now. So we'll have y equals x. And on your keyboard the caret is now shift 6. So then we have to the third. And you have to use your right arrow to then move out of the exponent. So then minus x shift 6 2 and then the right arrow to move out of the exponent plus 5x minus 5 for our first equation. I'll click on the second box to type in the second equation. So y equals x shift 6 2 over minus 6x plus 17. Then if I click on the graph area, it's very hard to see even where the intersection is. So what Desmos lets you do is if I click in the graph area and then scroll up, I can actually move my window around and now I see a much clearer idea of where they're intersecting. So if I click on it and hover, I can see that that intersection point is 2, 9, which agrees with what our graphing calculator said, and we still have that x equals 2. So whether you use it in the graphing calculator or Desmos, you have two tools to help you find your answer.